Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Murad in the DS. So like I said in my top 10 assassin video, the reason why Murad was not in the video was because I would really prefer him in the DS lane than in the jungle right now even though he is very strong in the jungle. Uh, I would actually prefer him in the DS lane so I would also recommend you guys to do the same. He can be very annoying to any other warrior in the DS lane, uh, especially Florentino. So if you want to counter Florentino in the DS lane, you can pick Murad and uh, if you are really sneaky, you can be very annoying to him. And also, I'll be sharing you my build in this video, uh, which is just going to be full armor penetration, full damage build. As you can see in the screen here, we have uh, Spear of Longinus, Rank Breaker and Muramasa in the same build. Uh, just because we can and uh, we have all these three slots because we don't have the jungle item right so instead of that we can have a one more tier 3 item so yeah and i'm also be going to use uh, using uh, flashy boots as my shoes uh, for the 15 percent cooldown so that i can keep spamming my ultimate on the enemy ds laner and it looks like malloc is going to be the enemy ds laner and it's a legendary malloc and i'm pretty sure it's one of my subscribers because they were uh, telling me uh, to not upload this video in my previous live stream yes this video was recorded a long time back so i'll be giving you guys a lot of tips on how to play murad in the dsn and why he is really good okay so in this video we have uh, as you can see here ragnar dragon is with me and uh, dimitrix is illumia so we were in a trio queue so we have two assassins wukong is also an assassin right so murad uh, ds gives one more assassin to the team who is more reliable than wukong actually so Wukong is good, but Murad is more reliable because he's not luck dependent. And uh, since it's going to be a lane against Malloc, it's going to be very easy, in my opinion, because Malloc doesn't really have any dashes, and you can just keep poking at him, and he won't be able to do anything to you. Okay, so I was just checking to see if uh, Malloc is like waiting in that brush to try and steal this. Okay, I know he's coming in now. I have to dodge his first ability with my second ability. I missed terribly and also got hit by his first ability also lost the creep and uh, malloc is at level 3 now because he got the spirit sentinel and i also lost the trade okay so this time i was able to dodge it as you can see if you use your second ability properly you can dodge anything so that is something that is really cool about murad so that's what we did right there and i'm going to recall and uh, Okay, wait, I actually, I'm not going to recall, I guess, yeah, yeah, so this, since this video was recorded like 8 or 9 days back, I kind of forgot what I did, but um, since it's me playing, I know what I would have done in that situation, right, since uh, the restore was right there, I would have never recalled, so that is why I was confidently able to say I'm not going to recall, and since my... Uh, I mean enhanced restore was also coming in 15 seconds. I just needed to wait Okay, so let's pre-order the flashy boots uh, For some reason it's started buying attack items So we need the boots first in order to bring down our cooldown by 15 percentage Which is kind of similar to what we'll have if you are jungling because uh, if you are jungling you will have the sage buff Which will give you 20 percent cooldown and instead of that I'm going to use uh, flashy boots and also what i'm doing here is i'm letting the minions die to the enemy uh, die to my minions so if the enemy's minions are dead before malloc can clear it he will be losing a lot of gold right so that is what i was trying to do there i'm just letting the minions die by fighting each other and i'm just getting all the last hit for my minions so that is a very good tactic that you can do in the ds lane if you are playing some hero and the enemy ds laner is so afraid of you what you can do is uh, try to make him stay inside tower and don't clear minions and let the minions fight with one another and let them die so if that happens since the enemy laner is not clearing those minions he will be losing out on a lot of gold okay here something glitched i guess i used my ultimate uh, to dodge malloc's ultimate but for some reason uh, when I got hit by Malloc's ultimate, I didn't take any damage, but still I got stunned. I don't know, it has never happened to me before. Like, let me know if you, it has happened to you guys, but uh, yeah, I hit, I got hit by the ability, but I still didn't take any damage. So that was weird, what happened right there, maybe a glitch. Who knows, uh, we ended up dying. Okay, so 
the first equipment that i'm getting is uh, also spear of longinus which also gives 15% cooldown reduction if you guys didn't know so combining flashy boots and spear of longinus we'll have 30% cooldown reduction right off the start of the game and then uh, when we get omni arms or muramasa uh, we'll get the remaining 10% and our cooldown will be at maximum so you can do the a uh, trick i mean no auto attack ultimate trick if you have enough cooldown with murad you actually can use your ultimate without even using an auto attack and see guys again did you notice that when ignis used his first ability on me it hit me and the animation of his first ability was completed but still i didn't take any damage at all so that is weird i don't know why it's happening we don't take damage but we get hit and we get hit by the crowd controls as well okay so we have basically won the lane i guess uh, as you can see ever uh, after that first initial uh, trading loss against malloc in the ds lane near the spirit sentinel we didn't lose to him after that and especially after we are uh, level 4 our ultimate is just 5 seconds long his ultimate is uh, 40 or 50 seconds long so that's so unfair like as you can see here i'm just going in i dodged his abilities i used my ultimate on him Uh, brought his hp down by 40% and see my ultimate is back again so i can just immediately go in again and uh, even though i'm not killing him i'm still like dealing so much damage to him and he has to retreat so i don't have to retreat uh, even if my hp is low because i have a lot of abilities to dodge malox abilities but he doesn't have any ability to dodge mine and if he decided to stay there and defend the tower he would have died for sure so he had to leave and give up the tower but if it were uh, me i didn't uh, necessarily need to do that because i can just stand under tower and when the minions come in i can use my abilities to dodge and kill him so as you can see we also dodged the tower shot and uh, i saw in the map that quillen is coming towards me yeah if you guys uh, also pay attention to the map you could have also seen quillen coming towards me uh, let me know if you guys saw that because that's a sign of a really good player so usually if you look at the map you will be able to find a lot of things so you are your survivability will be increased by a lot and since i was able to see quillen coming in the map i was able to walk away so yeah uh, you, you guys also should start practicing that okay so i don't know what is going on in the rest of the map this match actually and see malloc over extended again and this is a very bad thing for him because uh, he's like getting poked okay so the reason why he over extended was villain was probably nearby somewhere okay and uh, saronix the ragnar dragon also came okay we gave him one kill we also get one kill so that's uh, the gentleman policy between us so that is why i was waiting to get the last hit and get a kill and i'm sure he's not mad up about it or anything okay and by the way guys uh, this skin is the coolest skin for murad right now because we don't have any legendary skins for him this one uh, has all the voice lines of uh, murad's legendary cyber core skin so even though you may say that the cosmos skin has the background changes uh, this one uh, has the voice lines so that doesn't have any voice lines right so for the, that reason i think this one is better and also for the Our effects those are really cool and by the way uh, i'll be uh, having a live stream today uh, since it's a saturday at 10 o'clock we'll be having a live stream 10 pm ist and we'll be giving away one uh, wolfing valent skin of uh, alain so that skin is one of the most expensive skins in the game so if you want a chance at getting the skin uh join the live stream and also here we were able to kill malloc and then we were able to dodge quillen's first ability and second ability with our second ability since i timed it perfectly we were able to dodge it and we were able to stun him while he tried to ult away and we finished him off so that was a very good double kill and uh, you can clearly see how much we are bullying malloc in the lane right now right <coughs> since we have a lot of advantage against malloc and there is nothing he can really do uh we are just bullying him we are all the time we are standing in the enemy red buff and uh, we are taking our fights there and we are winning every single one and even if their jungler also comes we were able to kill both of them so that is also due to the 30% cooldown reduction that we have right now and since i have the sage buff also i have a 
maximum cooldown reduction that is 40% so murad right now is at maximum cooldown reduction guys okay and this is also something you can do uh, you can leave your uh, first ability here in the ds lane and then go to the mid lane clear the wave and then come back to the ds lane immediately so you can manage two lanes at the same time if you play murad ds so that is another advantage i'm just giving you guys a lot of uh, pros uh, pros that you get from playing murad in the ds lane since a lot of you guys were really mad that i didn't uh, include him in the top 10 junglers list so this is the reason he is so good in the ds lane so please play him in the ds lane so that's it okay <coughs> Yeah, yeah, at this point we are just uh, like straight up bullying yeah, and uh, for some reason the tower shot was uh, not visible okay see i'm just being a <laughs> very irritating character right now so murad uh, like i said in my top 10 slayer laners video murad is one of the most irritating characters right now especially because he's so easy to play he used to be one of the hardest heroes because he had to get four auto attacks to unlock the seal but since it's just two now and you you get two stacks from the first ability dashes you have a lot of outplay potential i i can't even imagine how many new plays i was able to do as i played murad after the patch and if you guys haven't tried murad as well you have to because there are a lot of things that you can do now which you were never able to do before okay, and yeah again we are back to the red buff and here i tried to dodge like the vision thingy with my second ability that's like uh, due to a lot of playing murad so that is why i dodge tried to dodge it and here quillen tried to attack me and this is a very big bis mistake by me i got my first ability and instead of trying to uh, like create a gap between me and quillen i tried to use the first ability on him and tried to fight him back so instead of doing that i should have used my first ability to move away from him and then in just half a second my ultimate would have come back and i could have killed him but instead of doing that i tried to dash towards him and tried to kill him so that was a mistake so we have noticed it we will learn from our mistakes and the next time the same thing happens it will not happen again okay so yeah i think it will happen again and we will be able to uh, come out better in the situation just because we analyzed it immediately we knew that our ultimate was just half a second away and if we had waited just a split second uh, instead of using our first ability on quillen if we used it somewhere else we could have altered him again after a half a second and killed him so the next time that happens i'm killing him guys and also uh, if you guys didn't know one of my favorite assassins i mean if not okay murad is uh, my most favorite assassin and here uh, ignis was at 1 hp and we were able to get the kill and here it happens again okay quillen attacks me and this time see i used my first ability to move away and then came and altered him back and he escapes at 1 hp so this is what i said the last time i should have done the same thing used my first ability to move away and then ult him and that is the same thing that i did this time and you saw the result he had to retreat so yeah we learn from our mistakes and uh, we keep improving ourselves guys that is what everyone should do okay poking baldum like it's nobody's business yeah this is why murad is really annoying just keep poking poking because of very low cooldown we have 40 percent cooldown right now and violet like tried to instantly roll in as soon as uh, she sees me attack and then ult and finish me off and here i also i'm very careful because yeah this quillen I was pretty sure that he was hiding somewhere that side because he escaped at 1 HP and if I were that Quillen I'd be waiting somewhere for Murad to make a slight mistake so that I can kill him and that is exactly what he did and I had my ultimate and I immediately finished him off with just one combo and now our damage is high enough that uh, we don't even need an auto attack to kill Quillen just our second ability and ultimate and one more auto attack I guess from Omniums and then that is the damage that is needed to kill a uh, kill quillen right now okay again trying to be really annoying and for some reason i i stayed too long and my first ability got uh, like got into cooldown but you saw how slick of an escape that was with our second ability we dodged both uh, malloc malloc's ultimate and baldum's s1 like a pro and then 
died here like a bot noob or whatever so that's like a big turn down guys i <laughs> i dodged uh, malox uh, ultimate and baldum's first ability like a boss and then died to violet sort of attacks which is so unfortunate so it's okay i uh, let's just say that uh, we died for demetrix and saranix who also died so pathetically especially saranix did you see him engage there guys if you didn't go back and watch it he he went in and attacked baldum instead of violet and just died and then me died even more pathetically than him okay yarn is dealing wow okay yarn and mina are uh, the two random people that we get and uh, i know that a lot of you guys right now will be like why do i never get randoms like this always the randoms in our team are trash we are lucky i guess guys yarn is dealing so much damage and mina is supporting him which i don't really approve a support only supporting the marksman but it's okay as long as we win the match it's okay for me i guess and since i don't really need any support right now it's okay for me okay minas uh, by herself getting that tower why isn't the enemy defending like one of them is actually alive but they didn't defend okay starting the annoying ness again okay see how i dodged this uh, abilities guys we completely dodged every single one of his ability by perfectly timing our uh, second ability did you see that that is the most important thing that you need to do as murad and only if you start doing that you will be able to like do a lot of crazy things with murad uh, but before unless you do that you will just be so easy to kill like i know that quillen is coming towards me and i perfectly timed my second ability so that i can dodge both his second ability and his first ability so start practicing more Morad is very strong very busted right now you should learn him and play him in the DS lane you will have a standby assassin who can complete the role uh, like who can help the jungler secure objectives that is killing the enemy carry better so if it were a warrior it will be very hard and in the late game warriors fall off but since it's an assassin uh, and especially since it's a Morad you can uh, give your jungler a hand at finishing the enemy carry So that's going to be it for today's video guys. Make sure to join the live stream today uh, to get a chance to win the Wolfing Valorant skin. Uh, I'll see you all there. Hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.